This is for Iqua Krazi. I probably murdered that, so I'm sorry. Okay, so first of all, facial um, uh, facial proportions. So you, you've got the head and the... Um, I think the head's a little bit small for the character. So, But first, I'm going to just show you that what you're doing here. So you've got this head pretty much go straight up and down like so. And then it, there's no real curve backwards, so it's almost flat. So what you need to do is you need to curve this a little bit more, round out the round out the form so that it kind of matches. Now, the head itself is not bad proportions. It's not... Um, so what I would do is something like this. And it's, it's a little bit small, but you see the center line? Your eyes go like this when they should be going like this. The nose should be going like this. The mouth should be going like this. All right, so you wanna pay attention to that aspect as well. And then nobody has a straight up and down neck and nobody has a neck this long. So what's the problem is, is you're gonna start with the neck actually back here and probably over here and it's gonna lean in. We are, our necks are not straight up and down, they, they lean forward. And so that's going to give you your neck and then your shoulders, um, if you, the way you're turning your, your, your torso here, so your torso would be like this. So part of this would be more hidden and then it would become like that. So you, you wanna define that aspect first. So what I would say right off the bat is I would grab the head. Oops, let's... Let's grab the head and the hair. So I'm going to just grab this. And let's cut. Let's transform. And I would move it something like that. That's the first thing that I would do. And then let's grab your eyes. And let's feather this a little bit before I do this. So grab... This, grab, so, oops, a little bit like that. All right, so that's the, the first thing that I would do. And then the second thing I'm going to do is transform the lips. And I think the lips would be longer and wider. So something maybe this is a little bit too wide but something along the lines of like that and then that basically gives me kind of the aspect that I'm looking for let me quickly erase some of this out here and then just a matter of shadowing so this would be shadows like so and I'm just gonna fill in rough here um, and then this, oops, let's erase this real quick. And then this would be trimmed down. So let's grab this. Actually, let's grab more than that. Something along the lines of like that. And so you can see how, and I'd probably just start doing a little bit of a trim, shoulder, a little bit of paint over here. And then this is actually, um, I would see more of this come in like this, and then, so this would be trimmed very uh, lin uh, very curved, um, and that's gonna give you kind of that aspect. And then there might be even a little shadow here to pop out that, um, and then arc it down, and so on and so forth. So then it's just a matter of going in and cleaning up um,
like our mess here with the eyes and stuff. Um, and then the shadows that you've got, you've got shadows or, or darks in there, if you will. All right. So what you want to do is, I'm just really quickly going to rush this in there. Um, and I think the nose needs to be moved too. So let's angle the nose a little bit. All right, so the big thing is to get a little overlap on the eye there, and I'd probably almost bring this eye closer here. So let's bring this just a hair closer. Let's clean that up so we can't see a third eye going on there. And let's uh, grab this eyebrow and bring it up here. And paint around that. Like so, and then what you want to do is you've got such a bright forehead here. So if this is your, your light here, um, what I would do is I would fade this back with some of the darker colors. So start pushing that, that strong light back, and that's going to give you more curve, especially here with the hair. I would uh, curve that back here more with the hair, because otherwise you're, you've got such a high forehead, she'll be bald by the time she's 20. And then let's bring some of that down like so. And then what I would do is I would probably bring up the ear a little bit more. And kind of clean that up. And then let's, uh, let's just merge that. And then let's grab Instead of repainting your hair, I'm just gonna oops, let's take off the feathering here. Alright. Oops. Let's do this one. And so I would go with something along the lines of this way. Um, and then watch your shadows. Um, the, the issue with shadows is shadows are going to give you form. So what I would say right off the bat is you've got core shadows in there, but the problem is you've got no sense of um, no sense of, of like your light source because under here would be dark as well and you're going to get a shadow cast from the nose and it's going to be very subtle um, but that's going to really push in that aspect um, you're also going to get more darks on the upper lip And then more white, bright highlights here. Um, and that'll actually push that as well. So what I would say between this and this, you really want to kind of push that aspect. And I'd probably play with this hair a little bit more to kind of line it up and make it look, you know, perfect. But it gives you kind of a good start to go on. Um, and I think, I think the other thing I would do is, depending if this is girl, if it's a girl, round features. So exaggerate round features. If it's a, a woman, you want to add in some more, more uh, 
because you've got kind of two sides going on. You've got kind of a, a soft girl face, and then you've got, um, I've kind of painted it into a woman, but if you're doing a woman, push the, push the cheekbones and stuff, whereas if it's a girl, you want to round out the features a little bit more. Um, get rid of this pointy chin. Um, get more of a like so, and probably thin out the neck. Um, and but I don't know. The eyes just look woman to me, so that's why I kind of went that way. Um, but that is definitely something that that you would do. Also, square out the jaw a little bit more. Um, it's it's. It's still feminine to have that draw in there. And then let's uh, overlap this and put your light back in there. And then, so that, between that and that, um, that's kind of what I would work on. All right.